Hey everyone, Nick here, and I survived my trip to Florida. I'm now back in Issaquah, Washington, at my in-laws place, about to celebrate Christmas, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas, but I wanted to tell you about the most expensive YouTube video I've ever made. For those of you who are subscribed to my main channel, Nick Simmons, I'll link that right here, you know I love to go big in my videos, whether it's racing a Tesla or giving away cash and prizes to my fans. I absolutely love to go big in my videos, and some of those videos end up costing way well over a thousand dollars to make. That's per video, you guys. But that doesn't even come close to the most expensive YouTube video I ever made. And I'm gonna tell you about that video right now. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I ran professionally for 12 years. And when you do something for 12 years and retire from it, it can be kind of tough. And me retiring from track and field was no different. I knew that I needed something to put all of my energy into, you know, that, that idea of training to compete or, or training to achieve something great, I needed to channel that energy into something that wasn't track and field. And I got into mountain climbing. I actually got really into mountain climbing. I climbed Mount Hood. I climbed Mount Rainier. I climbed Mount Whitney. I, mean, I, cl I climbed a lot of big mountains, including Mount Kilimanjaro. That still to this day is my altitude PB over 19,000 feet when I stood on the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro. But it wasn't enough just to go climb it. I had to make a video documenting that climb. So I brought along a videographer by the name uh, of Ryan Southwell, phenomenally talented videographer, and we made a documentary about the cultural experience, the physical demands, just the crazy experience that is flying halfway across the world to stand on the top of a continent. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it right here. Make sure you check it out at the end of this one. Um, but the purpose of this video is to tell you just how expensive it was to make that video. Well, there were two people flying over to uh, Tanzania from the United States. So Ryan and I both flew to Tanzania at a cost of about $2,000 a ticket. So you're four grand right there. Then you have to pay guiding fees. You can't actually climb Kilimanjaro without using a guide. So we had to pay Ryan's climbing fees and my climbing fees at a cost of $5,000 a pop. So that's 10 grand right there, plus the tickets, you're already at $14,000. But that's not it, because I actually had to pay Ryan to make the documentary. I had to pay him to make the film, or rather Rungum, my company, Rungum, uh, paid Ryan uh, the, the fees to make the film. That was another $5,000. So we're at $19,000, and that's not counting the gear that we had to pick up. That's not counting meals. Um, a lot of the meals that we got on the front and back end of the trip. Uh, I would say, you know, you got to budget at least another $1,000 for that. When I go back and look at the numbers, it's going to come in right around $20,000 to make that YouTube video. Now, did that video make $20,000 in ad revenue? Not, probably not. And it probably didn't sell $20,000 worth of run gum. But sometimes you have to take chances. You have to make investments. And what that video did was showed me how incredible long format videos do on YouTube and how investing in making a higher quality video ultimately leads to more views. When I launched that video uh, back in, gosh, the summer of 2018, it was by far my best video. And it's ultimately what brought us at Rungum to hire Ryan Ewart, our videographer who you know makes all of our videos at uh, my main channel. And I think it just goes to show you that bringing in experts and relying on other people's skill sets is so freaking important. I'm not a great video editor. Actually, as you can see by these videos, I'm not great at editing videos myself. What I am great is finding really talented people, getting them super fired up, and then going and doing fun stuff. So that video cost me about $20,000. I'd love for you guys to watch it. I'll link it in the description below. Um, I'm toying with the idea of hiring another videographer full-time. So if you are a videographer and you're looking for a job, shoot me an email, press at rungum.com. We're about to make some incredible videos on this channel, on Nick Simmons, my main channel, and potentially on a third channel, you guys, coming very soon. I hope to see you guys on all those channels, and again, wishing you all a very Merry Christmas.